that you're going to get better is yeah. because of God who created you. Hallelujah. And he's ready to pour out a new wine in the bottle. But when he looks down, he sees. When he looks on the other side, on the other side, on the other side, so what about you? Where you? One thing I've learned, what you see when you come and you're a member of a church, what you don't like, the Lord is dealing with you to work on that situation. Yeah. You and me, we are great army to change the nations. Hallelujah. This year we are going to be moving to yeah. cities. Hallelujah. We need people in the praise and worship, but people don't want to come for rehearsal. They want to come to sing on Sunday. <laughs> it's easy I was there. He's looking for someone for commitment. Hallelujah. Look, in, in, the, in the real world, when we go to just uh, secular jobs, however much you have your degree, and your experience. But if you're not available, you are the first one to be laid off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you expect the maker, the creator of all the universe? You are the one who says, I'll go there and then I'll pray. Maybe your prayer needs your commitment a little bit more so that you get your breakthrough. The old bottle. How can he pour out a new wine in an old bottle where there is holes? Yes, sir. <laughs> Different bottles in the kingdom. Hallelujah. You see this one? It's a bottle. Isn't it lovely? Kulikaka binaka. Hallelujah. <laughs> but every bottle is different. Oh, yeah. This one is this one, too. But do you know all these bottles are important? Oh, yes. However much this is big and has a good shape up here, and a small thing here where you drink, you cannot put it in a small pass. Amen. Now this is like everything has a He's there, but the pastor needs this person to fulfill the job. So because this little thing is flexible, you put it in a small pass. That means you have your small gun. You can see the enemy before the, the pastor sees. Maybe the pastor missed the other enemy. This small one sees so good. That is an intercessor in the church. Hallelujah. What are you doing for God? Every time you say, let me just go. Let me just go and see. But we don't have so much time. We have to redeem time. That's right. Do you know what I was realizing every time I was saying, oh, in the days of my apostle Deo Valayoko. And then the Lord told me, are you dead? The man is dead. He did his job. But what about you? Hmm? And this is another ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come in the ministry in the church and you see something is not going well, then as the spirit leads, you come and you fix. Hallelujah. And then the work moves on. Praise the Lord. Then. When a new bottle comes, <laughs> the new bottle has forgiveness. Amen. A new bottle has love. Amen. We change our attitude. The, the other person, when you saw her, like, I don't like that. I'll use Sister Freya because she's my friend. She won't get mad. You know, some people are very sensitive. Forest Pastor <laughs> says, make sure your, your nerves are far away so that they don't step on them. Yep. But I, 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 was, uh, I know Frida, she, her nerves are very far away. <laughs> so, <anyway. laughs> <laughs> she has control. A new bottle has love no matter what. A new bottle says, I'll give a second chance to this person to see if they do better. Maybe last year they were a little bit childish. This year, as they are in God and as they have been praying, maybe the Lord changed them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's looking for a new bottle. We are a mighty army here in Boston. The white men are waiting for what you have. That's right. However much they have huge churches. The time I was on a vacation, I was visiting different churches. 
But then I said, wow, we have been sitting on a bone of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. These people, the thing they do, they are very organized. They keep things on time. You know, the service will go. But they miss the anointing. Yeah. 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 Do you know you and me as we get on our knees as never before we can change the nation of Boston? Amen. Yes. I know all of us we came to, to look for green pasture. Ah. <laughs> Don't blame you, I work. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. But put him first in everything you do. Amen. When you look for a schedule. Tokamba have been banange maseni yesu mkaga anga siku ale kane kole le msamfu. Boba la baba nina wo. Be yo kere se yo. Mina wo za nana wo kese. Put God first. Just test him this year. He says test me this year. Put me first and see if I shall not bless you. Hallelujah. Just try him. When you do your job do we will give you. Me and pastor, we bless you. Get your job Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday appear. Friday appear for the prayers. Amen. And even as we work, even the tithe we don't give. And even as we work, they keep stealing our money back home. You are, you are waiting to go back in Uganda, but who knows when are you going to go back? This is your country. If you don't have papers, I grant you in the name of Jesus, you are a citizen of America. Start to build your church. And if this is your church, stop roaming up and uh, wandering. Yes, your globe. The healing. The liberty. So now, if this cloth has all different patches, even the coffin will say, Where do I belong now? That's when the Lord says, this is your place. If any things are not yet there, there is a reason why he brought you here. Oh, yes. That you may change the things which are not working right. Praise the Lord. He's pouring out a new, a new wine in the bottle which is ready to receive. Are you ready? I'll say like TV, yes. Get ready, get ready, get, get ready! Are you ready to receive the new wine? Romans 12, chapter 12. Let's read together. I'm getting better with my time. Very soon, by one third will be done. Hallelujah. I know there are those who are going to work 3 to 11. We really appreciate those who work nights and now you are here. We really appreciate you being here. Amen. Let's read Romans 12, 12. Be joyful. In hope. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, to some Be joyful in hope, patience in tribulation, faithful in prayer, share with those people who are in need, practice hospitality. Praise the Lord. I love 12. Be joyful in hope. Oh, when you have hope, you are, you are really joyful. But the other one, when I saw it, I said, ah, be patient in affliction. Hey, hey. You know it's very tough to be patient in affliction. Mm. You will think you are the only one who is suffering. Yeah. You will think you are the only one who is dying. You will think you are the only one who doesn't. No one cares about you. Even when you come to church, you will come with this attitude. <laughs> when you say, oh, my sister, how are you? <laughs> you want to show the whole world that you're really in affliction. Mm. But the Holy Spirit says, be patient. Mm. Do you know I'm so happy what you went through in our lives, me and my husband. I'm so happy they did something in me and him. Amen. This affliction, when the affliction comes, now I'm learning. Amen. Don't Amen. just, even pastor says that, that when you see some challenges, don't Run away from them, thinking, oh, maybe it's the devil. Sometimes God is drawing your attention. Yes, yes. <laughs> and as you, you say, okay, here I am, Lord, as I'm passing through this affliction, <laughs> the, 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 the temper goes away. Because everyone gets very furious when you're in affliction, but if it doesn't go away, 
Obivwa kuna kai chini zaji zaji. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Being late now, you say, eh? Maybe that one have been sleeping too much. Let me get up early and pray. A friction. He just releases his hands off, and then the enemy comes and affects you. And as you say, eh, I had Sister Blue. I was in prison for a reason. Now she says, I'm going to preach the gospel. Before she couldn't say that. Yep. Affliction. Praise the Lord. Before I love to sleep, I tell you when my husband says, I can't believe you. Within five minutes in my bed, I'm gone. But when affliction came, I wake up five in the morning, however much I love to sleep. Five in the morning since January, I started getting up. I said, oh, okay. But if when I remember, oh, there are things to be done in the church. People are suffering. How long have we been in America? My sister Rose just went to Uganda. She told me those people are very rich. We don't know what we are doing. She was putting another bomb into me. So when I'm trying to sleep, I say, oh, we work and we don't have no even money now in America. I tell her, Boba, where is that Chikumi? But they are doing better. And then the anger of God got into me. I woke up five in the morning and started praying. The first time I was praying for myself. Oh, you know when you were say, how you pray? <laughs> Jesus, why me? Why Jesus forget me now? What should I do? And then the Spirit of the Lord said, that type of prayer I don't need. Oh, yes. We mean business. The Bible says, come and reason together with me. He yes. wants people who are reasoning. Yes. Hey, do you know that? When you have something, put it on a paper. Go. Father, sit here. We got to talk. You're not leaving. Amen. Until you tell me. Yeah. Everyone gets married. And now you, you try everything. You lose weight. No one is saying, hey. <laughs> see Jesus on the chair and press never before. And see if it won't happen. Hallelujah. Instead of getting mad to the other party who goes, I don't know, I want the blazer. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm They cannot push on another brother if he was yours. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Patient in affliction. Amen. And even I was tired of the praise and worship. I said, Lord, I'm tired of singing other people's songs. Guess what? God is giving me songs. The other side of the song songs. Composing new songs. Even there was a brother who said, why are you bringing your song? Put it on the CD. I said, my brother, you don't know what I've been going through. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for to see God's people to be delivered. Hallelujah. When he delivers them, he won't punch. And he'll give me the opinion I need. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A new bottle. A new vessel. A vessel which is willing to serve no matter what. They pay you or they don't pay you. They, they appreciate you or they don't appreciate you. And I don't know what happened to us, we Africans, when we came here. We are even more sensitive than the Americans. Yeah. So they Remember when you used to be in the garden digging? No one was going to see on you. <laughs> but you were strong. And you did your job. You had this determination. You said, I know my God lives. I know my God will provide. Do you call somebody? Call somebody! Praise the Lord! Patience in affliction. And I love this one. Faithful in prayer. Hey, do you know we say, Pastor, you come to Pastor. Oh, maybe it's me. You say, you said, I've prayed. You know we have certain terms we use. I've prayed. Oh, I have prayed, but things are not easy. <laughs> but really, 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 if you are sincere into your heart, have you really, 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 really prayed? The Bible says here in Romans 12, 12 faithful in prayer, even though you have not got what you need, keep on praying. Amen. You don't pray until you see a problem, keep on praying, deposit your prayers on account. Then when the time of trouble comes, you won't be but now and what we will never pray. Oh, this is a pretty man about you know more as well as another food. This Jesus I'm talking about is sorry you're into my life. 
And I'm tired of these preachers who comes and they put them sass. They say, hey, chikwati na in Jesus' name, chikwati na wei chekas day. Hallelujah. We just have to go back to the basics. Faithful in prayer. Yeah, that's right. You don't need to call the whole world. The ministry. You don't get tired. She was saying, hey, the ministry made him busy. Hallelujah. Because you know, as the, time, as the ministry moves one year to the other, there are certain things which do change, yeah. which do come, the obstacles. Maybe the pastor may be going through something, but he won't tell you because you're a believer. Yeah. So then he needs someone who will be interceding on his behalf yeah. so that the ministry moves on. Yes. People of new life, I beg you. May the Lord forgive us the spirit of judging and criticizing things which are not going well. If another sister does well, pat them on the shoulder. Tell them, well, jo well done, job. I didn't say that right. <laughs> I could tell in my grammar, hallelujah. <laughs> Ephesians 4, 22, 23. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even in my English, I'm getting better. When, I, when I'm in the Bazungus, my accent changes. You know? Oh. Ephesians 4, 22, 23, please. We have five minutes left because we want to pray. Uh-huh. Let's read. You were taught. Are you there? Yes. Let's read. You were taught with regard to your former way of life. Yes. To put off your whole self, mm -hmm. which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. Okay, verse 23. To be made new in the attitude of your mind. Uh huh. And to put on the new self, created in the light of God through righteousness and holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To them, verse 23, as we read. To be made new in the attitude of your mind. Uh -huh. And to put on the new self. Created to be like God in true righteousness and